Howdy YouTube, today we're taking a look at the ultimate thrill ride. We're reviewing WrestleMania. Okay, we're going to talk pre-match, post-match, and actual match feedback. We will start with the build. The build for WrestleMania was okay, to be honest. Previous years, I've thought it was quite poor. This year's, I thought, was a little bit better than normal. The main reason for that, I guess, for me personally, is that I was at the Royal Rumble this year, had a great time at the Rumble. And so a lot of the feuds and the setups for the matches that we had today at WrestleMania were, I guess, continuations from what they began at the Rumble. So that I was happy with. Lesnar Goldberg, the first pay-per-view I watched was WrestleMania 20. The first time I started watching wrestling, it was during the Goldberg-Lesnar feud. So I was really keen to see this match. I remember watching the original as a kid at WrestleMania 20 and just hating the crowd so much for booing them because uh, obviously I didn't know that they were leaving at the time. But even if I did know they were leaving, just shut up and let them wrestle. you know. And the match I think could have been so much better, but because of the horrible, horrible crowd response, uh, those guys didn't put any effort in and the match was what it was. So anyway, I was really keen to see that. The Undertaker, uh, Roman Reigns, uh, there was a lot of suspicion that it was going to be Taker's last match, so obviously that was a must-see. Kevin Owens, Chris Jericho, I thought would be a good match, especially uh, Jericho's killed it. The last 12 months, really his last year in wrestling has been, I think, the best of his career. He's just worked so well with Kevin Owens. He's had some great matches with AJ Styles this time last year, and then uh, moving through and being a top heel. He was fantastic. Teaming with Seth Rollins in Melbourne last year was great as well. He was a, a standout on the mic there. So Jericho was good. John Cena, I thought, was going to be in a more high-profile match. Uh, but having said that, the build with him and The Miz was awesome. Awesome. I loved it, especially the lost episodes of the Total Ballers with Miz and Maurice. Uh, <laughs> I, I actually loved that. I thought Miz nailed the John Cena character. And uh, Maurice, surprisingly, uh, as Brie mode, uh, was entertaining too. So I really enjoyed the build to that match. That was, was really good. So leading into WrestleMania, I was quite happy. There were a few things I would have liked different. AJ Styles, Shane McMahon was not something I was particularly keen to see. Uh, but but anyway, we'll get into the actual match itself. So overall, the build to WrestleMania I thought was better than previous years. Still not perfect, but it was definitely an improvement over the last couple of WrestleMania seasons. So let's get to the actual WrestleMania card itself. Okay, so we're running through the matches, not necessarily in chronological order, but more so in order of what I feel like talking about. And I want to start with the return of the Hardy Boys. Over the moon, I was so excited and that was one of my favorite matches of the card, to be honest with you. The match itself was neither here nor there. It wasn't the best ladder match ever. It certainly wasn't the worst. It was pretty good. To see the Hardys back in it, though, and the response they got from the crowd was absolutely amazing. I'm a huge Jeff Hardy fan. I loved his work in TNA. I thought he was fantastic in that. I've loved the Broken Matt character, which I think might be coming back. Obviously, this review is before Raw. On Raw, we'll get a better indication of where the Hardys are at. I would love them to turn heel and do the Broken Matt Hardy gimmick that they've been doing in TNA and Ring of, uh, Ring of Honor uh, and so forth. That would be great. Uh, it's just a new dimension to the Hardys and something different, which I really like. But anyway, Jeff, been following him in TNA. He's had some fantastic matches uh, and I guess an up and down ride. He's on the up in terms of his uh, you know mental state and things like that. So that's always encouraging. He looked good in the ring tonight, as did Matt. Uh... But before the match starts, disclaimer, I really do not like The New Day. I've never liked The New Day. I like Big E. I don't mind Kofi Kingston. I'm not a big fan of Xavier Woods, even though he's good on the mic. Uh, I've never liked them. The only good thing in my view that has come from The New Day has been uh, Corey Graves' comment, Booty Saxton. Apart from that, there's nothing really about The New Day that I particularly like. So when they came out at the start of the match, I was kind of like, oh, really? You're going to put yourselves in the match and... The only reason they'll put themselves in the match is if they were going to win it. So I was kind of really sour when they came out. When they announced the Hardys, I popped huge, was really excited, thought they killed it, did a great job. Very excited to see where they go from here. Yes, they're older guys, but it's a tag team division. They can be used to build new stars, so I have no problem with them winning whatsoever. Very excited to see where both Matt and Jeff go from here. 
Next up, we have the face that runs the place, AJ Styles, who opened the card with Shane McMahon in what I thought was a pretty good match. I actually preferred this match to Jericho Owens, even though I think both Jericho and Owens are substantially better wrestlers than Shane. Shane did all right. He, he showed that, yes, he can competently wrestle. He's not amazing by any figment of the imagination, but he's not bad. He did all right in this match. I thought it was good. Some good spots with the coast-to-coast -coast and also the table. Uh, AJ Styles is just a fantastic wrestler. Didn't like his attire, the white with the red and blue on one leg, and that was a bit of a mess. But his actual wrestling ability, you cannot doubt. He's fantastic. Hoping he gets a title shot against Randy Orton moving forward from here. I think that would be really nice to see. Uh, if that doesn't happen, I don't know what I see him doing, to be honest with you. Hopefully they have a draft sometime soon. I think he would work well on Raw. Matches with him and Finn Balor, him and Seth Rollins would be epic, epic matches to see. Even against Samoa Joe, who if you've seen TNA, you'll know that he tore it up with him. But a lot of WWE fans haven't seen that. So that would be cool. Uh, what's left for him on SmackDown other than that? I'm not really sure. So it'll be interesting to see where AJ goes from here. But he had a fantastic year as well from debuting at the Rumble, uh, having a great feud with John Cena throughout the year, Jericho as well at the start of the year. And uh, to get a victory over Vince's son Shane is a huge thing. Uh, especially the way WWE works. So definitely a really good result for AJ. And I thought one of the better matches on the card as well. Jericho and Owens, for me, was a story of a great feud and a great build-up and a match I was really excited to see. Jericho is just such a talented wrestler. You can tell he's definitely getting on now in the ring. And Kevin Owens is extremely talented as well. The match didn't do a lot for me. I, I don't know why. To me, it just felt a little disappointing. I was expecting it to be... Like, just this really awesome, phenomenal match. And it did have its moments. It, it was okay. But uh, for some reason, I was not a big fan of this match. I'm interested to see what you guys thought. Let me know in the comments below of Kevin Owens, Chris Jericho. I thought it could have been a lot better than what it was. Maybe that's just me. I'm not sure. But I was expecting a lot going in here. And uh, I don't know. It was a good match. It was a very good match. I like both guys. I saw Kevin Owens uh, getting the victory. But just the level of hatred that was there, I didn't feel that that rivalry sort of got settled if that makes sense. Now, maybe they're going to feud again for uh, payback. I'm not sure. We'll have to see what happens tomorrow night on Raw. But, yeah, a match that I think was okay, but given the build, I was expecting something uh, a little bit more savage, a little bit more vicious. The power bomb on the apron for the finish I thought was good, but it didn't seem like a big enough impact. Maybe that was part of it too. Uh, I just wanted Owens to destroy Jericho and get the victory rather than... Um, I don't know. I just was left wanting more from this match. But again, keen to see what you guys thought about it in the comments below. Next up, we have the Triple H-Seth Rollins match. Triple H's entrance, uh, he has some good ones, but he has some poor entrances too. Last year was an atrocious entrance. I don't know what Stephanie was talking about for the first 15, 20 minutes. It wasn't that long, obviously. But the, the first bit about the workers and employees and I don't know what crap she was trying to talk there, and then the cheap Halloween skull masks that everyone was wearing. I don't know. I just really didn't like last year's entrance. I really didn't like this year's entrance either. I thought the cops was cool. I thought that could have been done a lot better than what it was. I would have liked to have seen them. Uh, I don't know. It just, just, it was kind of like you had all these cops, but then Triple H was like a biker dude, you know, which is more of a rebel kind of feel when I think he should have maybe been like the authority, you know, corporate kind of, Maybe he should have had like a police bike or come out with like a SWAT van or something like that. I don't know. I just, I wasn't a fan of the entrance this year. Uh, it was like a weird bike too. It wasn't really a bike. It was like a hot rod mixed with a bike. And I don't know. I just wasn't a fan of the, the three-wheeler. I think he's had better entrances in the past. Certainly the Terminator entrance was fantastic. The Game of Thrones entrance was also fantastic as well. So this one I, I just thought had uh, had better ones. The pre-video package for the the match was awesome that was fantastic seth rollins as a baby face isn't doing a lot for me he's a very talented wrestler he's very very good i was very high on him uh this time last year but uh i just i've i don't know i've cooled off on him and i'm not sure why that is i feel he's very very talented and hopefully moving forward from this feud he has something good planned i think he'll go into a match with samoa joe at Payback, uh, who's Triple H's stooge, or maybe a program against Kevin Owens 
one of those two, I think uh, we won't see Triple H for a little while now. But uh, yeah, the match itself, I thought was was a decent match. They told a good story with Seth's knee. The match, I feel, could have been substantially better. We've seen Triple H with Dean Ambrose. That was a great match last year. Triple H, Roman Reigns, uh, even though the crowd wasn't into that match, I think they still did a good job. Uh, and with Seth, I don't know. I think a healthy Seth Rollins would have made for a much more enjoyable match. But still, uh, it is what it is. John Cena and uh, Nikki Bella against Miz and Maurice. The match, honestly, I didn't like. I thought the match was pretty crummy. But I was really happy for John at the end of it uh, proposing. I thought that was very well done. He spoke well. It was great to see some genuine emotion from him. I thought it was fantastic, the the post-match stuff. I, I really enjoyed that, to be honest with you. Very happy for John, and uh, he's impressed me a lot too. I stopped watching wrestling because he was just destroying everyone in uh, you know from 2005 to 2007 when I stopped watching. Came back, and he was still on top, and uh, kind of lost a bit of interest, but uh, he really impressed me. He's turned, turned me around a lot, and it's been his matches at WrestleMania with Bray Wyatt, that feud really turned my opinion around on John Cena. And then uh, his matches with AJ Styles, Kevin Owens as well. He's uh, really improved. I think he's never been better, to be honest with you. He's absolutely killing it. So interested to see where John goes from here. I think I would have preferred him against The Undertaker. I think that would have been a much better match than Roman Reigns. But we'll get to that very soon. All right, so I get that wrestling's fake, but you don't have to shove it down my throat and make me feel stupid for watching it. And that's what I feel every time I have seen something as part of the Randy Orton Bray Wyatt feud. The burning the house down to me was just silly. The stuff in the ring with the the maggots and the flies and that. I mean, maybe for the kids, all right, fine, but you don't have to have all this hocus pocus rubbish. You know, you can just have Bray Wyatt as a cult leader, and that sells itself. You don't need extra shit. Uh, surrounding that. Uh, he's the leader of a cult. He's a weirdo. Uh, people listen to him. That's all you need. He doesn't need to have supernatural powers and things like that. Randy Orton getting the win. Uh, I didn't expect, to be honest with you. I, I really didn't. Maybe he's going to fight AJ Styles. I'm not sure. But uh, I was expecting Bray to, to get a, a much-needed WrestleMania victory, and that did not happen. Uh, the feud, they spent a lot of time building. They set it up a lot. And I give them full credit for that. The build, they put a lot of effort into. I wasn't a big fan of it because of all the hocus pocus. But they did put a lot of work in, which normally they don't do. So I give them full credit for that. This match was not the main event. One, thank goodness. Two, you completely shit on and destroyed the whole purpose of the Royal Rumble, which is to main event WrestleMania. So I'm interested to see next year whether that continues or whether the significance of the Rumble continues. The match itself was okay. Good, but not great. Next, we have The Beast and Goldberg. I loved this match. I love both these wrestlers. I'm going to have a quick mini rant. Bear with me if you want to skip it. So be it. But everyone that booed Goldberg, shut up. Yes, he's a part-timer. Yes, he was probably going to lose to Lesnar going into the match. The guy left. He came back, delivered the best babyface promo I have ever heard. He killed it. Absolutely killed it. Yes, his matches were short. Fine. So what? Who cares? You're not going to see the guy for much longer. You got like three months of Goldberg awesomeness. Enjoy it. Soak it up while it's there. When he's gone, you're going to have another 20 years to watch Kevin Owens and Finn Balor and Roman Reigns and all the other stars. So enjoy him while he lasts because he's not going to be around forever. And he's probably done now anyway. So why they were booing him and not enjoying him, to me, is silly and really stupid. I was happy when I was at the Rumble. He got a great response. He was fantastic. Spear, jackhammer, awesomeness. Very, very happy. The WrestleMania match with Brock was fantastic. Goldberg looked strong. He speared the crap out of Lesnar. He nailed him with some awesome, awesome... You can see he played for the Atlanta Falcons. Some of his tackles are just awesome looking. I always remember watching Edge's spear, for example... And being a little disappointed in that it didn't look all that great. Goldberg's spear looks like a spear. So that was excellent. Through the barricade. The match was a lot longer than I expected. Very happy with that. 
Lesnar looks strong, getting the victory as well. I'm happy that he's the champion. Yes, he's a part-time guy. He's stealing someone else's spot. Whatever rubbish. Don't care. Happy he's the champ. Excited to see where he goes from here. He's a special attraction. Once-in-a-lifetime athlete. Same as Goldberg. Enjoy him while he lasts because you will not see him forever. So happy he's the champ and very excited to see where he goes from here. Him and Braun Strowman could be a good feud. Interested to see where that goes. The match itself, again, a lot better than what I was expecting. Very happy with this one. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. Last but not least, Undertaker Roman Reigns. 100% had to be the last match. There's my Undertaker autograph from 2004. Uh, I was so, so fortunate to be able to meet him. He is my favorite wrestler of all time. Absolutely love The Undertaker. You have no idea how sad I am that uh, he's done. The scene at the end after the match was, uh, was very, very sad. And uh, definitely the greatest wrestler of all time. I think that's undisputed. Definitely the coolest character of all time, whether it be the original Dead Man, the American Badass, Ministry of Darkness, the Fina, whatever iteration of the character you liked. Uh, it was just all awesome. He had such a good move set too, such an impressive looking wrestler. Uh, he's definitely been showing his age, really since uh, the feud with Shawn Michaels. I think since then... He had the, the two matches with Triple H. He started to look older in those. Uh, and then it's more just been a, a rapid decline with The Undertaker. You can see he's got a bit of a gut. Uh, but you still love him. You know, he's still such an awesome, awesome wrestler. He looked good in this match, uh, at least the start of the match. He looked strong. Beating up Roman was awesome. Very, very good. Loved that every time Roman got some offense, the crowd just had no response whatsoever. Um, I took enjoyment out of that. And I do like Roman Reigns, by the way, uh, and I'll get into why in a second. So uh, that was the first thing. As the match went on, though, you could see Undertaker's age. The botched tombstone spot really showed. There were a couple times in there, too, where you could see the Undertaker was tired and, and was feeling it. But he did a great job. Uh, in the end, I don't know. I would have liked someone else to beat the Undertaker. I get what they did. It's good that he put over a young, upcoming guy, and they did it in the best way possible if that makes sense given the circumstances i just think it would have been better if undertaker had gone out uh maybe in a more grander way uh i just expected more uh the match itself was okay apart from a couple botches i think reigns did a very good job for uh you know all things considered my favorite reigns line leading up to this match i loved his promo on raw where he goes i won the raw rumble and went on to main event WrestleMania, and the crowd just booed really, really loudly for a couple minutes. And he stops, and he goes twice, just to rub it in. I, I love that. I thought that was a great heel line. There's a few things in this match where I thought he could have really put himself over as a babyface. Like when The Undertaker is struggling to get up, if he had helped The Undertaker up, that would have been a big respect thing, and I think fans would have got behind Roman a lot more. Instead, he was kind of an arrogant dick where he's like, it's my yard now, and pushing The Undertaker and slapping him and stuff. That, that to me, was uh, just poor. I think he could have handled it a lot better. So I'm interested to see if that will turn him heel or not. Uh, and that's part of why I would have liked The Undertaker to go out a little bit better too. I would have rather he had a match with someone that, that showed him some respect, and then you see Undertaker pass the torch to the next guy, whether it be through a handshake or, or whatever it is which we didn't get in this match. Uh, we did get a very touching scene at the end with Taker in the ring. It was nice to see some emotion when he went over to his uh, wife or girlfriend. Uh, that was cool. His entrance was good too. Uh, so again, the match was what it was. Obviously, it could have been a lot better with things like the, the botch uh, tombstone spot. But for what it was, it was good. Uh, just remembering The Undertaker, he's had such a good career is uh, definitely something very cool. I'm very lucky I was able to meet him and see him a couple times. And uh, yeah, I, I, I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Let me know in the comments below what you think of WrestleMania this year, what you thought of each of the matches. And one extra thing too, let me know what your favorite Undertaker match of all time was as well. More reviews coming up soon for you guys, and I hope you've enjoyed this one.